One of the defining parts of any Mario game is the power-ups. Power-ups have been in Mario games ever since the beginning, and they make each one infinitely more enjoyable. Over the years, we've seen power-ups evolve to do some pretty freaky stuff, and most recently, we've seen some of these power-ups hit the big screen in the Super Mario Bros. movie. Admittedly, there's not that many power-ups in the movie, but the ones they chose are either all-time classics or just fun power-ups in general. So today, I'm going to rank every power-up that appeared in the Super Mario Bros. movie from worst to best. This list will be based on their utilization in the movie, as well as how useful they are in general. So without further ado, let's -a go! At number 7, we have the Mini Mushroom, genuinely one of the worst power-ups of all time. This thing was first introduced in New Super Mario Bros. for the DS, and it does exactly what you'd expect. It makes Mario mini. Now he's completely vulnerable and can get knocked out in one hit. In the movie, Mario accidentally eats it during his fight with Donkey Kong. When I saw it for the first time, I immediately knew it was going to happen, and it was hilarious. It's also used at the end of the movie to shrink Bowser and capture him for good. From what I see in the movie, the mini mushroom is even worse here than it is in the games. Mario can't run on water or even up walls like in the newer games. That combined how you can't get rid of the mini mushroom unless you get hit or use a different item and you've got one hell of a bad power up. At number 6, we have the Super Mushroom. It's the classic power-up we all know and love. It's been here since the original Super Mario Brothers, and has appeared in nearly every Mario game since. Eating the Super Mushroom makes Mario big, and that's it. Now Mario is stronger and can destroy blocks, and he can jump a bit higher too. Yeah, in terms of abilities, the Super Mushroom is incredibly basic, and pretty much just exists to give the user an extra hit point and not much else. We see it used by Mario when he's training for his adventure, and during the final battle when he teams up with DK. I'm not really sure what else to say, it just makes you bigger. The only reason this is above the Mini Mushroom is because it doesn't have any downgrades. However, the Super Mushroom is nothing compared to the power-ups we're about to get into. At number 5, we have the Fire Flower. I am honestly shocked by how underutilized this thing was in the movie. The Fire Flower also originates from the original Super Mario Brothers, and in my opinion, it is way more useful than the Super Mushroom. It gives the user the ability to spawn fireballs and throw them at enemies. That might not seem like much, but it's super convenient and makes mowing down enemies that much easier, at least in the games that is. In the movie, it's used by Peach to light a candle campfire, and we even see Donkey Kong get his hands on it to help destroy Bowser's army. You know, why can't we see DK use more power-ups in the video games? That would be awesome! But aside from those two instances, the Fire Flower gets sidelined hard, which sucks because it's almost as iconic as the Super Mushroom, so hopefully we see more of it in the next movie. At number 4, we have the Ice Flower, quite literally the polar opposite of the Fire Flower. Instead of fireballs, this thing lets the user throw ice balls, which causes anything it touches to freeze on impact. While the Ice Flower technically debuted in Super Mario Galaxy, I feel like the version used here is based on the new Super Mario Bros. series. Peach hides one in her bouquet, and then goes full on Elsa mode, freezing Bowser and all of his minions, blowing up King bob -omb, what's not to love? It's crazy how the Ice Flower got a cooler scene than the Fire Flower. I personally find it to be more useful, because not only can you freeze and kill enemies, but also hold objects in place, which is exactly what we see happen during this fight. In fact, now we're approaching the truly awesome power-ups. At number 3, we have the Super Bell. While we don't see the physical power-up in the movie, we know that's the power-up used since it turns Mario into Cat Mario. This was the main power-up used in Super Mario 3D World. It gives Mario cat-like reflexes, the ability to climb up walls, and use his claws to pounce his enemies. And in the movie, it makes Mario, like, 
insanely strong. He uses the Super Bell during the second half of his fight with Donkey Kong, and Mario just beats the living sh** out of him. He also gives DK some nasty scratches with his claws. I mean, seriously, when I saw this, I flinched. That's gotta be painful. The Super Bell was already a pretty awesome power-up in the games, but the way it's used in the movie puts the video game version to shame. It is so damn cool. At number 2, we have the Super Leaf. Holy crap, this power-up got one gnarly upgrade. The Super Leaf was first seen in Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES, and this thing was awesome. Being able to whack enemies with your tail and fly around, and there's even a version later on like we see in the movie, where he becomes a Tanuki and can turn into a statue. Mario uses the Super Leaf near the end of the movie to help save the Mushroom Kingdom. He can't turn into a statue, but he makes up for it by having infinite flying. Yeah, that's right, in the games you'd have to fill up a meter before you could fly, and it would eventually run out. But from what I can tell, Mario doesn't have to worry about a time limit in the movie, he can just fly as long as he wants, and on top of that, my god, Mario is zooming! I've never seen him go this fast in, well, anything, and I love it! So yeah, the Super Leaf is fantastic, but I think we all know what number one is. And at number one, we have the Superstar. I really have no problem saying that the Superstar is, without a doubt, the best power-up from the Super Mario Bros. movie. Just like the Mushroom and Fire Flower, the Superstar first appeared in the original Super Mario Bros. It makes the user completely invincible to everything, and the way it's used in the movie is simply wonderful. Mario and Luigi both power up with this thing, and they completely annihilate Bowser's army. I love the way the bros sweep through all the minions, the way they absolutely wreck Bowser and send him flying Super Mario 6 4 style, and then they unleash an attack so powerful that it destroys Bowser's entire f***ing castle. Like, holy sh**. The only downside to this power-up is that it does wear off after a while, but that's a small price to pay with how godlike Mario and Luigi become. The power-ups in the Super Mario Bros. movie were great, and I can't wait to see which ones show up in the next movie. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure to give it a like, and let me know down in the comments which one of these power-ups is your favorite. Also, subscribe to my channel with notifications on, so you'll know when I post more videos like this. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.